so um, I was going through my uh, phone book while my friend Anna called me, and she was telling me on Monday, Central High School in Albany Ave, you should be familiar with it if you are from Philly, if you are not, it is a high school for overachieved students who get mostly A's and blah blah blah. Um, their God hates fags is going to that school to picket it. You know, of all the fa of all the signs, God hates fags. No, God does not hate homosexuals. So don't even be putting that shit in people's heads. This is an anti God hates fags video. If you don't like it, bye. You can press the back button. It's kind of on the top of your screen. But you know what? If you're willing to listen to it, listen. They're not just protesting homosexuals. They say homosexuals are going to hell. They say that 9-11 was the best thing that happened. They say that Hurricane Katrina was wonderful. Fred Phelps and his family, Cheryl Phelps, their two daughters, I don't freaking remember their names, but they, these people have seriously get to, got to be put on some narcotics. Um, did God come to you in a dream? Did he speak to you? Did he show up at your door and was like, hey, this is what I want you to do for me? No, he didn't. Did he come to you in a burning bush? I don't think so. And if he did, then... Honey, you need to go get some narcotics because you are schizophrenic. No. Not just... It bewilders me. Just it's, it's over my head how people can say that God hates everyone and we're all going to hell. God does not hate homosexuals. God did not cause 9-11. Only reason why Hurricane Katrina happened is cold weather, climate changes, natural disasters. Look it up. So I went on this GodHatesFags.com. You know, looking at their schedule, they are going to Christ the King. Again, if you're from Philly, you should be familiar with it. It's in. It's up by Ryan. I think it's in one of those little neighborhoods, either Parkwood, Schmurl, or Shell Farm, whatever was one of them. If you're from Philly, you should be familiar with it. First to eighth grade, picketing that school on, let's see, Sunday. Oh, people are in church. Church. These people are no followers of God. And you know what? When Fred Phelps dies, or any of those little psychotic bitches, you know, we should go pick it. Oh, yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention. They pick it soldiers, you know, guys who fought in Iraq or girl, women who fought in Iraq. They pick it their funerals. No lie. They do. They go to their funerals, say, God hates soldiers and God hates fags. Because apparently most of them are fags. I say... I'm going to make a bunch of shirts and t-shirts, sweatshirts, and pants that say shit on the ass. I'm not really like shit, but you know what I mean. Saying God doesn't God doesn't support hatred or discrimination. Not literally that. I mean, sum it all up. God hates Fred Phelps. You know what? Does God even hate? Does he have the capability of hating somebody? These people. Some of the sickest vile disgusting people they wanted to picket Heath Ledger's funeral because he was pro homosexuality you know what I am too but you know what if you know me you know what I am if you don't figure it out you know I think that it's time for us bi's, gays, transgender, trans, transgender, sorry, um, lesbians, to stand up to this God hates fags and these people who support America, support the, our country, support the soldiers. I think it's time for us to stand up to this God hates fags instead of staying quiet. I think it is time where we don't sue them. We fight fire with fire. And... Hold on. And... If we're... Not if 
everywhere they go, but make our YouTube videos, make our website. CodLovesEveryone.com for all I care. Something. And put these crazy, narcotic, psychotic, sociopath, worthless piece of scums in their place. No, I swear to God, if Byberry was still open, or any mental hospital with that, they should be put into them. All these people, just crazy, psychotic assholes. You know, I don't really, I don't really like to judge people. But after looking at this website, looking at their videos, doing more research, because you know what, I I don't want to judge people just because of something that they're doing. But these people are just vile and disgusting. I mean, gays, bisexuals, transgenders, lesbians. They don't want to be known as fags. Dykes, abominations, or worthless. They don't want to be known as them. I wouldn't want to be known as one. Because trust me, I've been through that. I think that it's time for us people of America or of even, not even that, us people who have and are in the right mind and know what is right, to stand up. The end of my, I sent an email to them or a comment. At the very end of it, I said, will God punish me for loving or you for hating? Um, and I also put, Keep on discriminating. You have another thing coming. God does not love this. God does not support discrimination. To declare other others' love is wrong is not is to not really understand love at all. And it is true. Um. To wrap all this up. I am thinking about making my own little support thing. Supporting those soldiers who died for us. Gay people. So, supporting everything that they hate. Which is pretty much the world. To prove to these people that nobody else is going to follow them. Because most of the church is made up of their own family. Um, if you want to contact me, comment the video, contact me. I want your opinions on what do you think America should do. And I will put them in annotations. Okay. You're good people. Stay strong. And please keep your head in, on its shoulders because it, don't lose it. Don't become one of them Phelps. Okay? Love you all.